I want to talk about belief and how belief can become the enemy of truth because when you believe something with every fiber of your being it's hard for you to discern whether it is true or not when you have self-limiting beliefs these can be detrimental to your success and your progress in life these self-limiting beliefs can be picked up from your parents or your school or some of the jobs that you've had in the past a lot of times the sayings like I can't do this or or phrases like I'm not good enough or I'll never succeed these things can really prevent you from doing what you want to in life so one of the best ways to evaluate if you have these self-limiting beliefs is take a personal inventory of your beliefs working with a coach or a mentor can help you to see some of your blind spots so doing a self-assessment to uncover what beliefs are serving you and what beliefs are not serving you will really help you and be honest with yourself when you're taking that evaluation so once you've discovered some of the beliefs that are holding you back what you want to do is challenge yourself and reframe some of those beliefs if it's a belief like I'm not good enough what evidence do you have that proves that if you think you'll never succeed what evidence do you have that says you'll never succeed take those beliefs once you've narrowed down and found some of those self limiting beliefs work to reframe them see the opposite of that if you think you'll never succeed what happens if you do succeed what are some of the benefits that you will get out of succeeding in life I'm gonna use myself as an example I used to believe that I couldn't do anything other than manual labor I had built up that belief because from a young age I started working construction I was in farming I did these things that I used my body to get work done I didn't really use my brain as much as I could have and I I didn't finish school so I had a belief about not being able to go do education or, or to take classes or go to college or anything like that so that belief held me back from accomplishing more in life and I had to take account that that belief was holding me back and then I had to take action to figure out what I could do to overcome that belief and for me getting my real estate license was one of those first steps and it was looking how many hours did it take for me to get a real estate license that was 180 hours and I broke it down into smaller steps I was like okay if it's 180 hours if I do two hours a day every day after work I could have this done within six months and so I just focused one day at a time I'm going to do two hours and take this education I basically overcame my belief by just taking action and doing the task doing the thing that I was scared to do that helped me to start gaining some momentum and getting little wins every day I was like okay here's two hours here's two hours here's two hours I did 10 hours this week now I'm one step closer to having that goal accomplished I was able to get my real estate license and then switch careers and there was obstacles there too because I had beliefs around talking to people and building I had to overcome those beliefs by just doing things that made me uncomfortable and took me out of my comfort zone and going through those challenges and getting out of my comfort zone helped me to start building more confidence in myself and it helped me to see that I could accomplish the things that I set out to do by accomplishing those little items repeated over time it started compounding I started getting more confidence that I could accomplish those things one of the next things that I highly recommend is for you to to write down a list of your successes the things that you have accomplished in life already whether it's getting your driver's license getting a promotion at work getting a college degree all of those things can help you gain momentum to get to that next goal whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and overcoming those self-limiting beliefs so write that list of successes do 50 successes if you can just go down the list and then start adding those things up and it'll start putting basically a deposit into your bank account of self-confidence those things will help you gain the confidence to accomplish whatever it is you're trying to accomplish in life and when it comes to those self-limiting beliefs you want to create practices of firming beliefs I like to call them declarations so for me I go through a list every morning of the best version of myself that I want to be I say I am a success I am worthy I am a great realtor I am a great coach I 
I am a great author. So having a list of I am statements for who you want to be and the best version of yourself will really help you to build that confidence and change those self beliefs that you have. And once you have some of those tools and tactics in place, a lot of it is just consistency and persistence doing the thing over and over again. It's not glamorous, but it does get easier every day. You start building that confidence and you start believing in what you say every single day. Your mind cannot tell the difference between something that has already happened and something that is in the future. So if you have a goal or a dream that you're working towards, if you mentally rehearse that goal or dream or those aspirations and those declarations that you have, your brain will start believing it and you will be better equipped to actually accomplish it. And when you're setting these goals and you're looking to the future, a lot of times it really helps to use SMART goals, which is for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Having a roadmap essentially to get you to where you want to go. So whatever your SMART goal is, once you lay out those different aspects, you want to break it down into smaller steps that are more achievable, which is like the next five moves. So whatever the first step is in the process, if it's still too overwhelming, break it down into five smaller actions and then start with the first one and get it out of the way so you get some momentum going. And then you wanna seek support and feedback from mentors and coaches, anybody in your life who has done what you want to do. Go find a, a role model, somebody that you can look at to see how they've done the thing that you want to do and then ask them. If you don't know them in person, find somebody online that you can look up to and see what they're doing, how they've accomplished what they've accomplished in life. Learn from them and then go to your family and friends, people who know you well and get support from them. Don't try and do it all on your own. A lot of times it's easier to ask somebody and they can shorten the amount of time that it takes to get the desired results. And then you want to embrace growth and adaptability. This is something that's going to be an ongoing process. You're not just going to immediately get over your self-limiting beliefs. There's something that's going to stick around. They're always going to be there trying to work their way back into your mind. If we don't keep these things at the forefront of our mind, we go back to our subconscious defaults, the way that we were programmed to believe things. You don't have to believe all of your thoughts. You can choose which thoughts serve you and which beliefs serve you. And then the final step is once you have all of these things in place, you have habits and routines to keep you on track. You're able to catch a thought when it comes up that doesn't serve you. The best thing you can do is empower others through telling your story, through encouraging others to learn more about their self-limiting beliefs, become more self-aware, and then help others by telling your story and how you were able to overcome your self-limiting beliefs. Paying it forward and helping others by sharing your story about your self-limiting beliefs can help you to continue to gain confidence because seeing how your story can help other people will help you as well. So if you need help and guidance figuring out what your self-limiting beliefs, I'm here to help you. So be sure to hop on and book a free consultation with me to help you overcome your self-limiting beliefs.